Hello everyone, I'm Captain Logan and it's time once again for the comment of the week. And my favorite comment from last week came from Spider-Man Sidekick 1 who left a comment on Jason's Roman numeral video and he writes, so Cap, when you sign your comments with CL, you're really signing them with 150? No, but now when I sign my comments with 150, you'll know who's writing them. Uh, I want to say thanks to everybody over the weekend who wished me a happy birthday. Uh, my birthday was actually yesterday, and um, I had a lot of folks who uh, have us uh, liked or friended on Facebook uh, who graciously said happy birthday, and uh, thanks to all of you. really appreciate it. Uh, I had a really great birthday, and I wanted to uh, show off some of the stuff I got. Uh, I got a few geeky presents from uh, some of my family and from my wife. Um, I know this is uh, very 12 years old of me, but... Um, um, some, yeah, I got a few neat things that I thought maybe uh, some folks would, would like to see. And um, I'll be doing some recommends on some of these down the line. Uh, from my Uncle Steve and my Aunt Shauna, I got a uh, Batman robot. Yeah, these are pretty neat. Um, they, these just came out, I think, this year, and um, I'd seen these at a few stores, and yeah, Batman Robot, how cool is that? Um, I got a few things with some birthday money that I've been uh, meaning to pick up lately and hadn't gotten around to. I finally picked up Hitman Am Absolution, uh, which I'm really looking forward to playing. Um, I don't play a lot of modern video games, but I've always really liked the, the Hitman series, and I keep meaning to do that, so finally getting around to that. Um, I picked up uh, some stuff from my classic video game collection. Uh, I can't believe I didn't have this, but I finally picked up uh, Batman on the NES. Uh, I had Return of the Joker, and I've been playing that a little bit lately, uh, which is nuts and infuriating, and um, I always remember this being a little bit better, and so um, I decided to finally sit down and play that again um, after years and years. Uh, I got uh, Donkey, Donkey Kong Country 2, which I remembered not liking that much, and I uh, finally sat down and started playing it again, and boy, it's ruthless, uh, but really fun, and I'm, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I finally got that, and uh, as big of a Mario Kart fan as I am, I never got around to play Mario Kart Double Dash, and um, I, when it came out uh, ten years ago now, uh, I thought the, the having you know two characters on a cart was kind of gimmicky, and I didn't think I'd like it. I uh, started playing it again today, or started playing it for the first time today, and um, it's it's actually really really fun. I don't know what I was thinking. I got some neat stuff from Vince. Uh, a couple of things I don't want to show you yet because they're going to be figuring into some other videos down the road. Uh, but the coolest thing for me uh, was the set of uh, tick cards that I didn't know about. Um, I. I thought I had a practically complete tick collection, and uh, Vince proved me wrong with this. Uh, these are these uh, these uh, test cards. This is a test card set that came out in 1992, and um, interestingly, these are all from the comics and have nothing to do with the TV show, and um, are printed on these on this kind of cheap cardboard. Uh, I don't know that they made a whole lot of these, and so um, anyway, it was really exciting to get this. Uh, one of them is really funny because it's just a blank card. And it says, like, it says something about blackness. Um, it, it, it's, it, that's just hilarious. Anyway, um, and then I got uh, some really cool stuff from my wife. Uh, I got, uh, I've, been, I've been waiting for this. I've been wanting to get this for a while, and I don't know why I never broke down and finally picked it up. But Sarah bought me this for my birthday. Finally got the first uh, volume of Pinky and the Brain, one of my favorite cartoons of all time. Uh, finally get to watch that, so I'm just stoked about that. And then uh, Sarah and Jason got me some obscure uh, uh, superhero and comic book movies that I was missing for the, the collection, uh, which is always really great because, of course, I'm trying to build up a collection of every superhero and comic book movie ever made. And uh, Sarah got me uh, under dog, uh, The Amazing Screw-On Head, uh, Mike Mignola, which I've, I've seen, by the way, and uh, is quite good. Um, oddly, this is the only the one of these I've ever actually sat down and watched. Uh, American Splendor, which I've always meant to, meant to sit down and see. Cowboys and Aliens, somehow I never got around to. I uh, still need to watch that. And um, I also, believe it or not, have still never seen Megamind, uh, which is on my short list and going to happen on, on Rewind um, sometime in the somewhat near future. Uh, anyway, so there's a few uh, uh, of my of my birthday presents, some some, some neat stuff. So, um, you know, if uh, uh, family, if anybody happens to be watching, thanks a lot. Uh, really cool of you. And um, I wanted to give you a few announcements about stuff going on this week. Uh, first of all, finally, we're going to be reviewing um, Justice League The Flashpoint Paradox. Me and Eric will be doing a podcast on that. Uh, 
I, I don't know when that's going to come up. I think we're going to try to record that tomorrow. So that should be um, the, the very next thing I post after we record it because it's been a couple weeks and um, I was hoping to, to have gotten that out uh, first week it came out and our schedules didn't line up. That didn't happen. But anyway, uh, so we'll be telling you our thoughts on that. Um, also, uh, this is going to be kind of a kick-ass week, of course, because Kick-Ass 2 comes out uh, this Friday and uh, I don't know when I'm going to see it, but uh, it'll be this week and I'll have a review out for you this weekend on Kick-Ass 2. Uh, I had hoped to have had the Superhero Rewind on Kick-Ass done before now. I'm sorry that hasn't happened yet. Um, I know I, I, I seem to do this all the time. I, I tell you, a Rewind's going to come out and then it's a week late. Um, I'm, just, I'm just busy and Rewinds are... The thing I make that take the longest, and I want to get them right. So anyway, uh, Kick-Ass uh, uh, Rewind coming out hopefully this week. Um, I don't know if it's going to be before or after the movie comes out, or Kick-Ass 2 comes out, uh, but it'll be this week. And finally, um, I wanted to mention that I did a podcast on Zazubar's channel. Zazubar and I did a long podcast on creative writing, and um, we kind of uh, we kind of chatted about um, all all aspects of creative writing, um, mostly uh, uh, believe it or not to do with with comic books and um, script writing and things. But but I, I talked of course a lot about short fiction um, and things like that. So anyway, um, go over to uh, Zazubar's channel and check out that podcast. We recorded that uh, a month or two ago, and um, he just he just now got around to uh, putting that up. So uh, go check that out. It's uh, on Zazubar's channel, and his link is in the description. Um, lots more coming up for, for you this week on Geekvolution, and thanks as always for watching. I'm Captain Logan, and I'll see you again really soon.